Hello guys and dolls and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Forever 21 haul. I love doing these plus size hauls for you guys. This one's sort of like a lookbook slash try on haul. It's a really awesome review as well because I'm going to be talking to you about the pieces because I've had them now for like a week or two so I've been actually wearing them and so I can tell you like what do I think of them instead of just like hey isn't this pretty. I do want to mention that it is super super hot in California right now. We don't have air conditioning so I am sipping on a slurpee so if my tongue turns blue throughout the course of this video now you know why. It is so hot I had to put my hair back. <laughs> I have quite a bit of a review to share with you guys of these clothing items. I can kind of tell you guys like what I kind of thought of them. There's one item where I was like, <gasps> no, and it's going back. And it's kind of a shame because there's elements of it that I really like, but it's when it's not 100% right, it's wrong. The first outfit I want to share with you guys uh, ha starts off with this really great bodysuit, which is super boobalicious. And I'm getting more and more into like low cut things. I'm really kind of like feeling myself and stuff. So love this bodysuit. It's really comfortable. I love the V shape. I like how it's sort of deeper cut. I love the color. It goes super good with my teal colored hair. And I thought it looked really beautiful with these blue shorts. I'm obsessed with blue and white right now. These are like a blue and white tie dye and they have these cute little ties on the side. It's so the bodysuit was $12.90. I think the shorts were like 15 bucks or something. Really good prices on those. I had them paired with this really great crane kimono. The color of it is a beautiful deep turquoise and it has this really pretty crane print on it. I adore it. It's a very lightweight fabric and I like wearing really short shorts like this in summer with like a kimono or something over just to like kind of help protect the booty area in the back. But the next outfit features the same bodysuit which again I love and this time I had it pulled up a little bit higher so that it wouldn't be quite as revealing in the chest so that's one thing I like about it is you can kind of like choose your own adventure like how much cleavage do we want to show today um, <laughs> it's a beautiful color I really love the color of this and I love the way that it fits I mean everything like it just it was just one of those really good moments I have that paired with a pair of palazzo pants which have a open split seam in the front which is really cool I've never seen anything like this so it sort of looks and, and, and effectively is kind of like a skirt with like a pant center area which is nice because then you don't get chub rub and you know it's really kind of comfortable and, and fun it has a tie so you can tie back the waist you can tie it in the front or the back either way I think technically the front is how it's meant to be tied but either way is fine um, I just I really like this it's incredibly flattering really good fabric on this one it has like a crinkly kind of fabric and these pants are also lined they have this like little satin short on the inside almost like a tap short if you're not familiar with that it's like a type of lingerie very cute and I, I appreciate that little element. And these were $27.90, so really good deal on these. Highly recommend them. Get them if they still have them because they are super comfortable. This next outfit I am calling the Sandy from Grease costume. Um, like at the end of Grease, you know, when she's wearing that cute outfit and she's like, tell me about it, dad. That is this outfit to a T. I just need like a belt and some mules and like a really big blonde wig and I'm good to go for Halloween this year. I am obsessed with this. Once I saw this on the Forever 21 site, I like immediately put it in my cart. It was like $23, like $22.50 or $22.90 or something like that. An insane price for this because a costume of this style would be about the same or even possibly more money for plus size and it would not be this nice of quality. I'm really impressed with how it's like off the shoulder. This just like looks awesome and it's also a cool layering piece. I didn't get around to kind of layering this with like light jackets and things like that. I could think I could see this being a great layering piece under certain dresses and stuff like that sheer lace dress that I have from last year. It could be really fun to go with it. It's a fantastic piece. It's really comfortable. It's super stretchy. And you know, I've come a long way with my body positivity because a couple of years ago I might not have worn a jumpsuit this tight and body conscious. On the internet I probably especially not without shapewear this is without shapewear kids this is just me and my body having a good time in this jumpsuit I'm a huge fan of this I just feel like Sandy from Greece in it and my neighbor actually like passed by when I was filming and was like oh my god you look so cute and I, was, I don't know it was just like a really cool moment to kind of get that recognition from somebody who isn't plus size and and you know kind of has a different perspective on the world because she's a thin woman so to get that compliment even though maybe it shouldn't matter more in some ways it's nice to see that body positivity coming from every angle then we get to the outfit that I'm wearing today so I'm actually not wearing the bottoms I'm just wearing the dress right now because as I mentioned it's hot which reminds me it's time for a slurpee break the dress is actually from the Victoria Beckham for Target line and this the fabric of this dress is really different it, um, it's an interesting fabric it's knit and it's very like 
like it has like structure to it so you can kind of like position it in ways so the shape of this dress is really interesting it's a little bit shorter than what I would wear on its own so I did pair this with an awesome pair of leggings holographic plus size leggings oh my god oh my god alert the presses make sure everyone knows because last fall I shared a pair of leggings from Forever 21 which on their website they called holographic leggings they were more actually like like multi-chrome and a lot of you guys pointed out to me that those are not holographic these ones are in like very bright light have a very mild holographic look to them that really cool lace down feature but in low light holy crap watch out because they are super intense so rainbowy so comfortable they're actually more comfortable than the multi-chrome ones that i got last year they come up a little bit higher i still wish they were just a little bit higher waisted it is something i'd love to see forever 21 do is more high-waisted leggings um i don't think i mentioned the price of this dress i originally purchased this dress for 35 dollars. it's now on sale for 10.50 so go on to the target website and and grab it snag it because oh my gosh this dress is beautiful and i believe these leggings were only like 24 bucks um, I also want to say that um, I got a huge compliment from just like a passerby while I was filming this with Mikey and someone walked by and she was like oh my god I love your pants and I was like they're forever 21 and we had like a moment so that was pretty cool she was like oh my god plus size what 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 like she freaked out uh so now we get to the item that I didn't like and this is a dress that is not actually the forever 21 brand I kind of took a chance on this it was one of the more expensive items and if you've gone on forever 21 recently you've noticed like they have random really expensive stuff and I don't really know what's going on other than I think that they're running forever 21.com more like an e-commerce site where they're selling other brands stuff this dress is from a brand called Boho Me. It's something completely different. It was $48, which for Forever 21 for a dress is a lot of money. And so I had a lot of high expectations for this dress. I was like, this has to look super cute. Uh, I really, really, really like the pom-pom trend. And I wish I could find something that would work for me with it because it's just so my aesthetic. It's not even funny. I want to like collect it all while it's in trend. This dress is not working for me. My biggest issues with it are twofold. For one, it's really, really long. So if you're like over six feet tall, this is the dress for you. Because I have the straps like doubled up, like it does have adjustable straps and I have them doubled up and tightened as tight as they'll go and it's still way too long for me and I'm 5'6". So I'm about average height. This is just way, way, way too long. So if you're over six feet tall, look into it because it might be one that would work for you perfectly. For me, I keep tripping over the hem of the dress. Um, my other issue is that it just sort of hangs. To me, it looks almost like a deflated maternity dress. It hangs in a weird way that doesn't look very attractive. And part of me wants to just like keep it because it has the pom-poms on it. And it is relatively comfortable, but I do keep tripping over it. It is pretty unattractive on me. For $50, I'd like to enjoy wearing it. Like if this was $20, I'd probably go ahead and keep it. Um, but for $50, I would want to actually really love an item that I'm purchasing. And um, my other issue is that the pom-poms have already started coming off. I already have like a random errant uh, pom-pom. So this one's not for me. It's going to have to go back. So that's kind of a bummer. But in a way, it's also a good thing because it was the most expensive thing I purchased. So maybe it's a good thing I'm returning it. That is my Forever 21 haul. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments section down below. Is there anything you're excited to pick up? What brands do you want to see me review next? Would you like me to do like Boohoo or Fashion Nova or another Torrid haul or another Forever 21 haul? I'm always down for that. Let me know in the comments section down below which brands you'd like me to review. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. New videos every Thursday and Sunday. See you later. Bye.